I hate Warzone. The only reason why I'm even playing this right now is because online is so fucked. It's so ruined from skill-based matchmaking. Everybody's so scared to actually, like, play the game properly, and it ruins it. Jev was talking about it because he was saying that the hard hat map was a good map. Now, I did, I did comment shit map on that video, not gonna lie. But the more I started thinking about it, I think the maps on this game are actually, like, really good. The issue is the pussies, the people playing the game. Like, see me camped right here? I'm the issue. Well, you're already dead. Whoa, whoa, see, what are you camping there for, kid? Huh? Huh? Oh, he had stopping. How? Dude, this kid gets a UAV and stopping power rounds off the rip? Come on, what? It's so hard to talk when you're playing this game mode, dude. So much bullshit that goes on. Hold your angle. You flash mid. If he's not there, he's not there. Oh shit, he's in my spawn! <laughs> okay, alright, we won. Good shit. <laughs> Anyways, the maps are not the issue. That's literally not the issue with this game. It's the way that people play it. I think skill-based matchmaking just ruined the game, honestly. Like, skill-based is cool and all when you're bad. You put all the good players together, and it makes the good players not enjoy the game. But the good players are the ones that it, uh, should be enjoying the game. Obviously, bad players are majority, right? I'm just being honest. Most people are not amazing Call of Duty players. It's just how it is. It's the way it goes. That's why everybody's playing this now, because it's the only game mode that's actually somewhat fair. Unless the fucking enemy gets stopping power rounds. Like, what the hell is that shit? But the whole point of this right now, I'm actually trying to make a fucking TikTok of, like, a meme. I hate the fucking people who get all the views on those class videos, and they're just shitty-ass class setups, and the people don't actually use them. They're like, oh, I saw a pro using this. Yeah, dude. A, pr a pro uses every gun. You know why? Because they're good at the game. So I got this. You'll see it in a minute here. I got this AK class I'm about to try out and just see how well it runs. Probably not that great, but that's kind of the whole point of it. Do I got 10 grand? Wait, is solos? No way it's 10 grand in solos, too. Is it actually 10 grand in solos? It's 10 grand in solos. What kind of bullshit is that? Bro, I did not think this through. I have to get 10 grand to go get a meme class. That's not fun. Oh, you ran. Oh, shit, you motherfucker. You motherfucker. You motherfucker. Come on. <laughs> He's laying down. Okay, all right, well... This is gonna be a long time. This is gonna be only maps that are even fun to play is Rust and Shipment because no one can lay down in a spot. And if you do, I'm gonna spawn trap you and I am going to kill you repeatedly until you decide to press the left stick forward. That's the only way you're gonna get out of a spawn trap is if you move for objective based game modes. So if you don't touch the objective, uh, like, let's say you got a 45 second timer, which is being generous, okay? If you're in the same spot for 45 seconds without touching the objective or getting a kill or doing something, fuck yourself. All right, go play Rocket League. No one wants you here. All right, you got, you got a minute or 45 seconds. Obviously, not 30 like cranked, but a little bit longer. But you have to get an objective. That way, no one can finish the game with zero captures or zero time on hardpoint. That's just stupid. That's why the game sucks. Because in old Call of Duties, people wanted to play the objective. In this game, there's no reason to. Skill-based matchmaking makes it no fun. All the dumb people are just sitting there, Oh, I'm going to sit right here and not do anything. I'm going to go for kills because I'm a good player. I get a lot of kills. Fuck you. Why are you pushing? You're a loser, dude. You are a loser. Dude, are they both on the roof together, not fighting? Because that's absurd. 45, so you pushed in. And now you're dead. Snipe me, go ahead. Don't be shy, put some more. Alright, this is the class right here. This is what I've been spending my whole time just to get this fucking gun. It's an AK-47 shotgun attached with a sniper scope on it. And a 75 round mag. If you're wondering why there's a 75 round mag, 
It's because the sniper scope is so inaccurate that you have now 75 bullets <laughs> to miss every shot. So you don't have to hit them all. If I didn't have this 75 round mag on it, you probably wouldn't get a single kill. If I can even get a kill with this, I'd be happy. It's crazy. What hand, did, what hand does my guy use right here? What hand does he use? Tell me. Like, where is this kid going? Dead. See? That's why you need the RPG. You have to have it. Oh my god, game! Why does it do that? Did you see that? What the hell? No way! It worked! I got a kill with it! <laughs> oh my. The fact that you have to zoom in with an RPG doesn't even make sense at all. It's literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard of in my entire life. Yeah, no, no, no. To pull the trigger on the RPG, you actually have to zoom in first. That's the dumbest shit ever. That this class actually just worked right there. Oh, I didn't even change the barrel on it. I have no barrel at all. Fuck off, kid. You just lay down to try to push me again? Get out of here. You too, just get out of here. Stop trying. Like, what is this kid doing right here? Like, what are you guys doing? What is this kid doing? Fuck it, right? <laughs> oh, God. Else says it like, oh! oh, shit, kid. Where are you shooting me from? Yeah, okay, kid, good try. Is there one above me? What the hell? Like, what are you doing? Get out of here, bro. Stop it. There's that kid. Oh, shit, he's on the roof? What? There's so many guns there. I'm gonna land right back on him. I'm getting, I'm getting fucking payback on you. You are gonna... <laughs> You're about to die. You are gonna get fucking destroyed. No reason for me to. This other kid's on me. Is that the kid that, uh, that killed me earlier? Fuck you, kid. Sorry. Sorry. I'm just, I'm so sorry. Make a bad decision and go right out in the open like that. What are you doing? How is that a good idea for anybody? What are you doing? There's the other kid right there. Why? Yeah, I was gonna keep that one. I was like, ah, it's not a good idea. I'll take the growl. Like, what are you doing, sir? Where is he camping? What is he? Is he in there? There's a kid right behind me. So there's a kid right behind me. Like, what are you doing? What are your plans? You're dead though, you're dead though, you're dead though, you're dead though. No way! How are you not dead? Wait, how are you not dead? Wait, how is he not dead? I knew you were there, but... He never died, wait. Did he actually never die? I should have killed him before, I had a gas mask, that was dumb of me. He never died. How does that make sense? See, that's when this game just loses me. Just a little bit. It just a little bit loses me. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Thank you.
the lead I choked was astronomical. I just might go buy some armor down there really quick. Are you kidding? You can't. Oh, so okay. Oh, oh, okay. So apparently, if you use your heartbeat while you're in the air, it makes it so you automatically can't pull your chute. You know, I figured that since you could open doors with a heartbeat sensor in your left hand and a gun in your right hand, that you could pull your chute with the heartbeat sensor in your left hand and a gun in your right hand because why would you be able to open a door two feet in front of you but not pull the parachute that's on your back i'm just trying to figure that out like it's not like the doors don't have handles that you have to turn